You could do that. He seems to be crafting himself. <laughs> Should we pose a challenge to him by standing in front? <laughs> <laughs> he seems to have fashioned some sort of pickaxe. Let's look in his chest. But who Ooh, knows when he will use that? He's made some four balls, fifteen planks, and four sticks. All in a day's work. Let's see where. Oh. Eight o'clock. He he has officially um discovered fire. <laughs> Crikey, this bugger seems to have discovered lightning. Seems to be evading an enemy. This creature doesn't have much time left until nightfall. Let's see. He has goes. gotten his first meal, which appears to be a gold nugget. <laughs> seems the little bugger has struck gold. What the heck? Why is this help up then they just popped up? <laughs> I did that. Stop! Stop. You didn't get sick. my name right! You don't need help. <laughs> oh, look at that bugger go. He appears to be going for the pig. Look as he stalks his prey. <laughs> waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Never see these kinds of things out in the <laughs> wild. Oh, the play seems to be learning a language. Oh, and he strikes with great force. Did you see that, folks? The prey went down. He seems to have taken down his meal and is ready for dinner time. And it looks like, by the way the sun is setting, he's just in time. <laughs> Man versus <What>? mob. <laughs> but he still seems to be going. For more sustenance, as one this pork chop will not beat his hunger. Crikey. He seems to be walking efficiently. <laughs> Look at those arms. Someone seems to be sitting as he grabs a patch of flowers. For his garden. To decorate his home. This could be an interesting thing we got going on around here. Mate, you gotta say it with an Australian accent. Australian. The beast. I've never seen these kind of the beast creatures. He's ready before. for the night. He has shelter, food, and water. In his chest, he has gold helmet, sword. Prepares for the night by putting away all his valuables in a safe chest. Amazing. Making sure to set his home in case he dies. The knowledge inside that mind. Right there. Listen, this bugger isn't done yet. He seems to be going down to a mine. This is interesting here. Zombies might pose a chance for the fella. But nope. nope. He, seems he to decides to go down. straight down. What? This is a very, very dangerous strategy. But he hasn't seen the mind. I threw him down a shovel to assist him in his journey. Out you didn't do anything. Get down there and help him. <laughs> hey, stop moving me. Ah, let's follow him down. I'm gonna wait till there's a little more room. He seems to be creating a 4x4 four four square. Expanding. Leaving an open, by exposed three. hole for creepers to walk in is a very dangerous strategy. But the creature doesn't seem to mind. He's a risky person. <laughs> Looks as if he's making a tunnel. This he's using his clear this skills. Is quite, this is quite a show we got going on here. Probably the seems best to one be making yet. a staircase. Probably the best one yet. He seems to be using the shovel I gave him to take advantage of, of its d ability. The fella seems to be taking its way out. He goes back to the home, hoping for at least eight hours of slumber. But no, the sun's already on the rise, and the no, creature is another day. It's not yeah. even halfway done with night time yet. But look, the, it's, look at the it, the sun's coming up there. No, that's the moon. No, it's not. Oh, I changed my time. Hold on, I have to make it. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> on my screen, the sun was coming it up. Seems to have fashioned some sort of heating device. This could be weird. Who knows what he could be cooking in there? Possibly iron. The creature might be trying to advance a little bit more. Into the mining age. Could it be? It he's appears he's about to strike a zombie. It seems he found Bugger, a... he seems to be getting him right force. 
but the spike oh. is coming in to help, and the skeletons are definitely going to be a challenge. The creature starts to run away, hoping that he'll have one more chance oh, to see his short, family. Oh, this could be a difficult situation for him. Let's follow him back to his home while he eats. He seems to have not cooked his sustenance, therefore he's eating rotten flesh that he just got from a zombie. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> 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 Aunt Bear Grylls <laughs> and my associate. He seems to be creating. And my associate, what? what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> what should you be called? Um, let's see. What's, well, like the, a humba. what's the alligator guy's name? What is the alligator? Dome, what's the alligator guy's name? For the and, alligator show. Yeah. Um. He goes crikey. Uh, oh bugger. The skeleton seems to have enforced his tent. But nope. The creature seems to have gotten some special power with the feather. Maybe having a psychic link, if you will. The creeper sneaks up it for a good strike. Oh he avoids the f the full blast. Looks like Crikey. he knows how to He's deal with these bad. type of creatures this in creature the creature is not going to give up soon. And I accidentally steal some of his experience. Some of your skeletons start to advance. Creeper on the right. Left. left. <laughs> and it moves up. But the creature still goes on. He seems to be killing. He seems to be have some super, superhuman strength. These zombies are going down in about 3 to 4 hits. With his feet. He seems to know his surroundings very well. <laughs> he crouches. He crouches no, for a skill so that the mobs have less chance of finding him. But I don't know how he's going to get past this wave. Walking across to the creepers. He strikes. Avoids the up. full blast. Crikey, see those two skeletons, two creepers that seem to be teaming up, if, if you will. But he oh. seems to be doing just fine defending himself. That gold armor is looking kind of weak. The gold armor doesn't seem to be helping him, but it does make him look fashionable and quite rich. The creeper is going to okay. attempt to blow up his tent. I will now go into a first-person view to better get a better glimpse of the creature's life. Crikey, three <laughs> creepers seem to be seem to have breached his forces into they the tent. They seem to be area. following him. One creeper seems to be hoarding all the water, this trying to lay eggs. Hard. He seems to Crikey. be spawning them. Four creepers. Six, some kind of magical seven, powers. Seven. Oh shit, you blew up his wall. Uh, the commentators have destroyed the fortress. <laughs> Dumbass. There seems to be a creeper stuck in his home. Oh, never mind. Oh, they seem to be spawning everywhere. This is not good. This is not good for our creature, Mr. Downcounds. Oh boy. This is hilarious. <laughs> we can make like a movie. We can make a whole movie of this based on him. Man vs. Wild the intro goes dun dun dun. Yeah, Hi, I'm your host, Bear Grylls. And I'm, of course, I'm here with my partner, Alligator Hunting Guy. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna look it up. Alligator oh. Guy's name. Alligator Guy's name. The creature I'm, seems to have made I'm, some sort of device, I'm, 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 and he has learned a language. Apparently, he needs coal. As he has alerted everyone in his I, tribe. Unfortunately, all his members of his, his name? tribe. I don't know. No, it was the crocodile, not alligator. Crocodile Dundee. I don't know. Unfortunately, none of his tribe heard members heard were there today to help him. There now go. he needs coal, and he's got no one to help him. Steve Irwin. I got it. Yeah. Look at that fucker go. He's trying quickly to get his forces up. Defenses, if you will. Seems he's attempting to break and enter into the homes of the civilians. 
probably going to take some torches. Oh, fuck, I'll look at him. <laughs> infiltrating civilization, coming into people's homes and taking their stuff. This could be a good opportunity. <laughs> As none of the residents are home, for they've all gone out for tonight's big party. A skeleton has invaded and perhaps set a spawn, if you will, inside the camp. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Why are you, you can't kill the spider. He's got to yep. do it. You can't oh be with God. nature. He's the werewolf. This is this is the werewolf. It looks as if he's created a well for himself. You already said that. Oh, he did? Yeah, I said that. I said it appears as if he has like created a wolf source. Mate. It appears the creature has struck coal. The very source he's been looking for this is the most luckiest find he's ever going to get in the next 24 hours. This is so Animal Planet. I know! <laughs> I don't play with Bear Grylls and Steve Irwin. <laughs> it's as if the creature is trying to get more cobblestone for his wall. It seems I've lost track of the creature in my efforts to keep up. Where is he? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, I see. I see your name tags. It looks as if he's created a spiral staircase to conserve energy. <laughs> oh, he's encountered the creeper on the surface, blowing up most of his stairs. Could be difficult. Our yeah. yes. it, it looks go? as oh. if it looks as if this creature needs some sustenance. Let me help it out. Hey, we can't interfere with nature, Steve. What were you thinking? I'm sorry. Give <laughs> care of you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> your meat. God, be a little professional for once. It appears it seems he was trying to interact with the flesh. creature, trying to get its attention. He's eating rotten flesh. Let's have a look at his resources in this chest here. The creature doesn't seem to mind Gold helmet. my, my partner, Sword. Steve Irwin, has intruded his look chest. It. Let's see what he's got going on in this furnace. Ten coal. You don't find those every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a so perfect. <laughs> Seems there's about you. Done to create a barrier against nature's forces. A creature acts almost as if he's human, but also an animal, an outcast, if you will. I will. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> he's not even That's... talking in this call. That's why we started this. <laughs> Let's see if the creature minds a slight touch Ethan, from the still there. Ethan? He has not noticed. The All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> My accent's awful. They were gonna hate me. They already hate me, but uh. Australian accents is kind of like a British accent with some other thing in there that I don't know. So, I, okay. I knew you were going to be recording this. <laughs> <laughs> Seems as if the creature doesn't mind a slight touch from an outsider. It appears the creature is waiting for something <laughs> to strike, preparing. Seems if he has twin beds, maybe a partner of sorts. Perhaps a mate. <laughs> Is resting up. In a chair. A big heist. Possibly a form of a mod. Which I cannot take advantage of. <laughs> it's a plug. Plug in, not mod. There are no mods here. 
Let's follow him down the staircase to where he finds his next meal. This could be a groundbreaking discovery down in this mine. God, Steve, I can't do this with you anymore. You record. I'm taking a five minute coffee break. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, go get some footage. I'm taking a coffee break. Yeah, I'll just go on his Crikey. tent. Should we donate one watermelon slice to him? Don't 